Hi, welcome to Gauge Design. In this video, I'm going to show you how to design a gauge for position tolerance with MMC modifier. Let's look at showing first. In the previous module, we have learned that the MMC modifier used in position tolerance. For example, in this join, there's a position tolerance 0 0.4 with MMC modifier based on datum A, B, C. And A, B, C is three surfaces. Okay, so this MMC modifier we know is bonus tolerance. It means when its smallest hole, 8.4, there's no bonus. So basically here, 8.4, there's no bonus. So the position tolerance will be 0 0.4 plus 0, and then total position is 0 0.4. Okay. But if the whole size increased, become bigger, then this will become a bonus, which is come from here, the MMC modifier. For example, if it's 8.6, the bonus will be 0 0.2, because we're going to use 8.6 minus 8.4, the bonus is 0 0.2, and the total position will be 0 0.4 plus 0 0.2 totally 0 0.6 and the largest one 8.8 .8, we'll get the position tolerance 0 0.8 so it shows here when the whole size become bigger then the total position allowed is become bigger so we're going to give you a picture to show you this way the smallest hole we got less position tolerance because there's no bonus. So deviation of this hole will become plus minus 0 0.2. Okay, 0, plus minus 0 0.2 basically is the position 0 0.4. Okay, so what about the size become bigger? If the size become bigger, for example, 8.8, .8, as we said, there's a bonus. The total position will be 0 0.4 plus 0 0.4. This is bonus. The total position will be 0 0.8. That means plus minus 0 0.4. So the big hole will deviate it. The more distance. Okay, so here. But if you observe, it doesn't matter how this position deviated. There's always inside area. You see, there's a boundary here that this uh, hole cannot get inside you see this this area so this area how to calculate this one we are going to use the whole size for this case is 8.8 .8 minus position tolerance which is 0 0.8 because plus minus 0 0.4 the position is 0 0.8 right so we know this boundary or this area is 8.8 .8 minus 0 0.8 then is 8.0. Okay, so let's look at the chart first. Here, 8.4, the inside the boundary. Here, we're going to use 8.4 minus position 0 0.4. And we get 8.0. So inside the boundary is 8.0. Similarly, as we did previously, 8.8 .8 we're going to minus position tolerance 0 0.8 right and then we get inside the boundaries this one is 8.0 so you can see this boundary and this boundary has exact same diameter so look at this one so we, we will find out so even you know the size become bigger and the position allowed become bigger but the inside the boundary is constant it's never changed it's stable it keeps as the diameter 8.0 so from here since this inside boundary is constant is stable so it's allow us to make gauge to check the position of this hole so basically what we need is just to make a checking pin here we 
locate part, this is part, to datum A, B, C. And then we push this pin inside. If this pin can pass through, that means this position is okay. So that's the basic theory we make the gauge. Okay, so the key here is to find out this constant inside the boundary. This boundary we call this maximum material virtual condition boundary or MMVB. And this is the key as long as we find out what is MMVB, then we can find out how big is this pin to be used to check the position. Okay, so let's have a, a quick quiz here. Let's look at, look at here. So there's position tolerance and there's a size. Let's find out what, what is MMVB. So as we did before, we are going to use what? Smallest hole, 4.8, which is 4.8. Smallest the hole because MMC, maximum material condition for the hole is the smallest hole. Okay, so 4.8 minus 0 0.4. That basically is the position without bonus. And then we get the MMVB 4.4. Okay, so you may say, okay, what about I use 5.2 to calculate? Well, you're going to get the same result because once the whole size is 5.2, and then you'll get a bonus, and this position tolerance will become more. Eventually, you will get MMVB 4.4. Okay? Next, let's talk about what about the tolerance feature is a shaft. Previously, we always talk about the hole, right? The hole, MMVB is inner boundary is inside inner boundary but if the tolerance the feature is the shaft then the boundary should be outside boundary okay so how to calculate MMVB the outside boundary we are going to use the biggest shaft which is 5.2 plus position tolerance 0 0.4 because for the shaft the biggest shaft there's no bonus so 5.2 plus 0 0.4 and we will get 5.6 and this is the MMVB for the shot. Okay, all right, so once we know how to calculate MMVB, then let's make a kind of gauge now. Let's make a gauge. Okay, as you mentioned, gauge first, we find MMVB, second, Based on MMVB, we make checking pin or inspection feature for the gauge. Okay, so checking pin is this one. This is checking pin, and the size of the checking pin is 4.8 minus 0.4, right? So this checking pin, and this checking pin supposed to be vertical to datum A because this position has datum A and datum B and datum C, right? And obviously, we're going to have datum B and C to put it on, right? Okay, but before we put datum A, B, C on the gauge, okay, we need to ensure that you understand this checking pin. This checking pin must be perfect size, be perfect form, and be perfect orientation and perfect position. So what does it mean here? So this one, this size should be exactly 4.4, .4, which is 4.8 minus 0 0.4. So this should be perfect. What does that mean perfect? That means the tolerance of the gauge should be very, very small. It's too small, you can just neglect it. Okay. So if you have an interest, please take my full course about GDNT and gauge design and we are going to explain how to define the gauge tolerance. But in this video, we just let you know the gauge tolerance is pretty minor. Okay, so 4.4 4 is perfect size. Second, the form should be perfect. This pin should be a perfect cylinder. 
Okay, that means it should be round and it should be straight. Okay, the next one, and this checking pin should be perfect orientated to datum A. And the datum A is this surface. Should be vertical to datum A. And the last one is this checking pin should be perfectly located to datum B and datum C. So this perfect position. So obviously we need to make datum B and datum C on the gauge. So look at it here. This is a full gauge. Uh, here, this is gauge datum A and gauge datum B here and gauge datum C. And then we're going to take this part, push to datum A, push to datum B here, and then push this part to datum C. That means we locate the part first. Once the part is located to datum A, B, C, then we can check the position of this hole. Okay, how to check the position? You got the, you need a checking pin, right? But usually this checking pin, we made it, uh, allow it to slide into the, there's a sliding or guiding hole here, you see here? On the datum A, we purposely make a guiding hole, and this hole is almost the same size as this checking pin, or 4.4, with minimum sliding gap, okay? So we just need to push this pin into the hole. And once this checking pin can be pushed, that means this position is okay. So that's the gauge we need to check, we need to make, okay? And again, uh, as we said here, one important thing before we use the gauge to check the position tolerance, never forget to check the size first. The whole size should be okay. If the whole size is out of tolerance, then you are not, not allowed to use the gauge to check the position. So how can we check the size? You can make a gauge, go, no go. Right, this is the size. So the goal here is 4.8. So this end should be pushed inside. This is the hole to be checked. And then this is supposed to be stopped here. So this no goal 5.2. So we use this one, this gauge, the second gauge, you will say. I will say it's this first gauge. Use this gauge first to check the size, and then we're going to use the gauge to check the position okay all right so there's a small exercise you can s spend time to try to make a gauge for this component and this component here datum a is one datum b is a pin and here there's a two small holes times two and there's position tolerance here okay so how to make a gauge then and we're going to make gauge like this way Basically, this is a gauge. Okay, basically this is a gauge. And this is datum A, and here, this is the, the gauge. Basically, this is the gauge hole. Okay, and eventually we're gonna make MMVB for this uh, hole, which, which is maximum pin, this one, uh, datum B, 24.9 plus 0 0.05, and then plus 0 0.1. So basically we get the hole, and this hole is 25.05, and this hole is the checking hole, and also this is the location hole, because the checking is to check the perpendicularity. The location is used for this datum B here, but theoretically we should have MMB to put it here, so put it away, put it straight. In the next video, I'm going to explain this is very important to, for the gauge to put this one here. Okay, but here we don't spend time here. Just let you know we should have this MMB here after datum B, then we are allowed to make location hole here. Okay, but here, this is in this video, we only focused here. Okay, the checking pin here. The last one, this is checking pin, and this checking pin. We are going to use the smallest hole, 
which is 5.0, right? Minus 0.14. And this is the size 4.86. 5 minus 0 0.14. And 4.86 times 2, right? Times 2 here. 2 checking pins. And then we can push this into the part. Then this one will be okay. And then this one position will be okay. But before you use this gauge to check position, you should first check what? The size of this one and the size of this one. Okay, check the size first. All right, so this is the exercise number one. I'm gonna give you not exercise. This is exercise number two. Try to design a gauge to check the position tolerance of this one. Then you can see there's a position tolerance two times and there's no data. Okay, so check my previous previous uh, video uh, how to understand the position without data. Okay, and here this is the part to be checked. So we need to make a gauge to check the position of these two holes here. But uh, let's make it simple. I have the gauge here. This is the gauge. Okay, here's the gauge. And we're going to use this gauge and push inside. So all you need to do is find out the checking pin diameter here. Here, you need to find the diameter of this checking pin. And also you need to find out the distance from this checking pin to this checking pin. Okay. All right. So let's give the answer. Yeah, you can stop here if you want to think by yourself. Okay. So let me give you an answer here. First, the distance between the checking pin should be perfect, should be basic dimension, which is 14. You see here? So for the gauge, here is the 14. 14 here. The next, the checking pin, we need to find MMVB. So how to find MMVB? The tolerance the feature, or the feature to be checked is the hole. So we need to use the smallest hole, which is 9, minus the position tolerance, 0 0.05. So what we get here is 8.95. There's two pins here. So all we need to do is push this one into the part. Then the position will be okay. Okay. So we have learned so far, we have learned how to make the gauge to check position tolerance. All right, so here is a quick review for this module. Uh, in this module, we introduced uh, the MMVB related to position tolerance. This is the key to design the gauge for position tolerance. The second one, uh, we also introduced several examples how to make the checking pin, right? And also we introduced how to uh, make gauge location portion or location feature how to locate part okay so thanks for watching and i'm gonna see you in the next video